Hey y'all, today we are trying out several new products. We have some Too Faced, some Pure, just um, Ulta Beauty, lots of different things. I don't wanna go through and name everything because I don't like long intros, so I don't want to bore you guys with naming everything when you're gonna see it in the video. So if you are new here, I always wanna let you guys know that we use all natural lighting. Um, it's just the sun, that's it. I'm sitting in front of windows. I don't want a ring light to distort anything. My colors look different. I want you guys to see my skin, my rosacea, my redness, how these products cover. So I'm sorry about that bird that is just doing that. I'm so sorry if you can hear that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and subscribe and let's hop in. Okay, lovelies, we are starting out with the Pure Skin Haze CBD Glass Glow Skin Highlighter. So it says to use this by applying it to clean face after moisturizing, concentrating on the high points of the face, cheekbones, tip of nose, Cupid's blow, blow, Cupid's blow, Cupid's bow. So that's what we're going to do. I did do a swatch of this. And it reminds me of lip gloss, kind of that clear, shiny, glass-like look. It's not as sticky as a lip gloss, so don't, you know, it's not like that. Uh-oh, i got a hair. We're going to be shiny today. So I'm going to put that there. Holy cow. I'm going to add a little bit up here, just a smidge to the nose, Cupid's bow, and then... I'm just going to rub what little bit I had left just over the face. We'll see if this accentuates pores. With this, I wanted to use a foundation that I was familiar with, but one that I haven't used in a while. So we're pulling out the Pacifica Alight Clean Foundation. Oh yeah, definitely glass-like. You guys can see it there. But surprisingly, it, it didn't accentuate my pores. Not right off the bat anyway. This would be beautiful even alone, like by itself. Like, ooh, it just gives you that beautiful glow, but it's like a sneaky kind of glow. There's no glitter, no shimmer. It's just, wow. Okay, okay. I like that. All right, like I said, a uh, Pacifica Alight clean foundation. I have some mixed on my palette here. I mixed two shades. This is warm tan. Also, this is a very dark, very dark. And then I have warm medium. So we mix those two guys to try to get a close shade. We'll see. I don't know if this is close or not, but hopefully we can make it work. If not, we can always lighten it up with concealer. This is a glowier foundation. I, I love this foundation. I just haven't used it in a while. Oh, my hair is everywhere. Okay, let's start pushing this baby into the skin. I'm using my Yoma sponge. It's like my favorite sponge of life. But yeah, I wanted to sit down, film, talk to you guys. It's like with all of this going on these past couple of months, I don't know, I've just been in like a rut, a funk. I haven't been inspired. I haven't really wanted to film. It's like, not that I was forcing myself, I just haven't put out a lot of videos. Like, I want my videos to be upbeat and for me to be myself, not down. So, hopefully, we are out of that rut now. I feel much better. I know the weather is much, much nicer here, but it's kind of like it was cold, cold, cold. We completely skipped uh, spring and went into summer because now we're in, like, the 90s. So but I'd rather have 90s than 40s. So here's what we're looking like. This is a glowier foundation, but not quite so glowy. You can see that that, um, what do they call this? Glass Glow Highlighter. 
I mean, they said to kind of use it as a primer. So that's what we did, but you see it still coming through. Pretty, it's very pretty. And I did use this the other day on like a no makeup makeup kind of look. And I put it over top of my foundation and it looked gorgeous. It wasn't sticky, it didn't move my base. Um, I really like it, like I really like it. So there's what we've got. The coverage on this is so, so beautiful. Like I love it. Normally I build up everything, but I actually, well, I need to blend out the nose more. You guys didn't tell me it was all weird. Uh, but I actually really like the way that it looks. So we're not gonna build this one up. That's shocking. All right, I wanna try the Pure Disappearing Ink Concealer. This is in medium. Let me look this up for some claims because I don't quite know. Okay, this is $24. It comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades. Not great, but it's not awful. Um, it has really good reviews, four and a half stars. It says, meet the ultimate complexion quick fix packed with concentrated skincare ingredients including keratin complex, diamond complex, that reflects light away from imperfections. That sounds good, that sounds good. Um, Pure's concealer quickly corrects the look of fine lines, dark spots, visible pores, and more. Available in problem solving shades, it's ideal solution for uneven problem and prematurely aging skin. It has a tip like this, um, and one of these turny things. I hate that. Um, just, just a doe foot works for me, but this is what we've got. Okay, so let's apply and see what we have going on. It didn't say the coverage, like full, medium. I'm going to assume this is medium coverage, but we will see but I do love that it has skincare benefits. That's like awesome. Okay, this is on the lighter coverage side. Sorry guys, my camera decided to just shut off. But yeah, this is on the lighter side for sure. It will go much better with a BB cream type. Definitely has a glow to it. I'm gonna build it up just to see if it is buildable because this just isn't enough coverage for what we have going on right now. But I like the highlighted look it gives. That's pretty. All right, second go at this. Let's see if we are getting any more coverage. Yeah, okay, second layer definitely gives you more coverage, but it's still light. It's still deal on the light side of the, the spectrum for sure. Can you guys see, let me get this hair out of the way. Right here, it's separating. Right there. Ugh. Okay, that doesn't look good. Okay, I'm going to quickly set. This is the It Bye Bye Pores. It's not new. I just got a new one. So I'm gonna quickly set the under eyes. All right, we're not gonna set the rest of the face. We don't have to, so I'm not going to. Oh, for bronzer, I have tried this and um, it can be very patchy, very patchy. You only need a little bit. This is the Kosas uh, Deep Bronzer. I wanted a red tone bronzer. If you guys watch me, you know, I have lots of red tones in my body, so red just it looks natural, it looks sun-kissed, like a natural bronze would give you. So I always go for red tone bronzers. But this one, this one can be tricky. It is very pigmented. Like I tap in, tap on my hand, and then we'll apply. But yeah, it, um, it, it can be patchy. It's kind of one that I 
I use it, but I accompany it with another bronzer because it's, it, yeah. Some days it can look okay. Other days it's like patch city. So we definitely didn't mend that very well. It is still just gross looking. Darn it, darn it. Yeah, that concealer, whoo. That concealer really did us in, you guys. Okay, for highlighter, I'm going to try this. This is a cream. Let's hope it goes over this okay. This is the Vita Liberata Blur Luminosity in Rose. It's a cream highlighter for face and body. If this starts to really not look good, we, we, we won't. <laughs> we won't. We won't continue with it but it's very creamy. Like I put out just a little baby bit. Let's stick it here. Oh, well, that's like metallic. Ho 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 holy moly and pink. Okay, no, no, I don't, I don't think that's gonna look good on the face. It's like straight metallic pink, holy moly. It feels nice, very smooth, like very smooth, but, ooh, it smells like sunscreen, like straight up sunscreen. I mean, it looks good, but it's super metallic pink. Like, I like pink highlighters. You guys know that, but it's, it's too metallic pink. But this is supposed to, let me read it to you guys. Creamy blush pink highlighter. No, I don't think it's blush pink. I think it's friggin' bright beaming pink. Adds a rosy shimmer to your skin while aloe and shea nourishes and protects. Blur luminosity, oh, use blur luminosity on top of body blur for the ultimate flawless finish. Okay, we didn't do that, but I'm definitely not gonna put that on the skin because it's just too, it's almost hot pink and that's not my vibe. So no, I'm just gonna throw on some Bare Minerals Joy Highlight. I know this one, I know it works well. So this is what we're gonna use. Blush, I don't have a new one, so I am just going to use Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Fruit Cocktail. Honestly, it's one of my favorite blushes of all time. It looks pretty hot pink. It, it does, but it just adds a beautiful pinky flush to the skin. And like, I don't hear anyone talking about this ever. And it's not like super matte. It just, I don't know, it looks like skin. I love it. Oof, I'm gonna have to turn the air on. I think I'm gonna have to take a break <laughs> and turn some air on and then we will get back to eyes. But man, it is like crazy hot. All right, so we have the face fully done. Like I said, I'm gonna take a quick break and then we will be right back to do eyes. Okay, for eyes, I wanna do something more simple. So we are going to try out the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Matte Eyeshadow and this is in Amaretto. <sighs> if we don't like it, we'll try to cover it, but let's hope, let's hope. Okay, this packaging is so stupid cute. I love the packaging. All right, we're gonna do one eye at a time. I'm just gonna put a little on. I'm gonna use my finger to blend it. Kind of spread it around. Uh-oh, got it on my nail. I'm hoping it's not gonna dry too quickly. I'm going to take a brush here. This is a synthetic. And I'm going to start trying to blend our edge. 
not going too much into the inner corner because we don't want that to move around. Okay. Well, that was easy and it looks pretty. Okay, let's try the other one. I hadn't heard a whole lot about these, but the couple I heard talk about it and I didn't watch any videos, but they said they were kind of hard to work with. So I was a bit scared. But this, you guys seen, like, super easy. Finger first again. Just dispersing it. I see nothing hard about this. I don't think they're high maintenance. Like, you have enough time to still move it around. I, wow, I am thoroughly impressed. And they do set. All right, let's build it up a little, just, just because. And a little does go a long way with this. I'm just putting it right in the center. And then I'm just gonna kind of re-intensify the lid. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels very light. Ooh, I think I'm gonna love this. It's just so easy, you guys. Like. I'm kind of shocked. Like you see, we still have some play time with it. I'm just gonna fluff on the outer corner a bit. No, <clears throat> nope, I am totally shocked. I think that was incredibly easy. Like I said, I had no issues. It didn't dry too quickly. Holy moly, we have a winner with that one. You could even take it a step up and you could throw a little bit of a shimmer on. Let me grab one. All right, I have the Too Faced um, Papaya Pop. I'm gonna grab just a smidge of this shade right here. And I'm gonna just tap that right on the center, just a little bit. You could definitely do the whole lid if you wanted to, but I just wanted to show you guys how you could kind of amp this up a little bit if you didn't want it all matte. Like so easy, so quick. Wow. Wow. All right, I'm gonna go off camera, throw on some lashes, and we'll be right back. Okay, lovelies, this is our finished look. I put on Eyelore 117 lashes. They are my go-to, my favorites. You can really wear them with anything. Um, literally no eyeshadow at all, a wing, full on eyeshadow. They just look beautiful. I love them. And for the bottom, I got a little tiny synthetic brush. This is a Luxie 141. Any small pencil brush will work. And I opened this, got just a boop right off the top and ran it along the lower lash. And for some reason, I felt like doing a little bit of a light black liner. I'm sorry if you can hear birds. They are just out there acting all crazy right now. <laughs> but I, um, yeah, I wanted a little bit of a light, not a super, super pigmented black liner, but I wanted to put that on. I don't know. It just gave it a little, a little something, something. I like it. So yeah, lips. I used, let's see, Revlon. What are these called? I don't know. Oh, HD lipsticks. This one's in 710. I love these, but they've gotten way, way, way harder to find. But if you can get your hands on these, they are so good. It just, it's one of those colors that just, it goes with anything. I always get compliments on that shade. But yeah, this is it. Let's go over what we used. So you guys know I love the Pacifica A Light Clean Foundation. It's just good. It it kind of never fails me. I really do love it. All right, and then after that, we used, I literally just had it in my hand. Here we go. The Pure Concealer, don't recommend this at all. This was a total fail for me. I'm gonna try it again on one of my more no makeup makeup kind of days, but it totally just ruined everything. 
We have kind of a little bald patch right there still, so good thing my hair can cover that. But yeah, this just separated my foundation. It did not look good. It took me forever to kind of repair it. So this is a no-go. Again, I'll keep you guys posted. Ah, the Skin Haze, I love this. I like it underneath and on top. I really, really like this. It just gives you that beautiful glow. It's like, oh, it's just good. It is so good. I love that it's not glittery. Wow, you guys, I cannot talk. I love that it's not glittery. I love that it's just a glow. It's like just glass skin at its finest. I love this, highly recommend. This one, the Vita Liberata um, Blur Luminosity, I don't recommend this. Sorry, my camera totally cut out. My card is full, so I'm gonna have to make this short and sweet. I don't know about the formula of this, but um, this color is not my jam. I don't recommend this. Um, even if you have lighter skin, I don't know if you're gonna like the tone of this. It's more just hot metallic pink. No, don't like it. Um, this Too Faced eyeshadow, I was really, really shocked and in a good way. I love this. I think. I will wear this all of the time. It's easy, it's quick. You can throw a shimmer on it like we did today. You can add to it, but I'll keep you guys posted and let you know down below how long it wears, if it's smudged, if it doesn't stay put, all of that good stuff. But I recommend this as of right now. Yes, shocked. Am I forgetting anything? Mm, I think that's it. If I'm forgetting anything, I will definitely leave it down below. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you subscribe and click that bell. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye, guys.